Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the iPhone 15 and compare it against the Nothing Phone 2A and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you between both these devices, there's a little bit of overlap but I do think for the average person probably going for something like the iPhone 15 would probably be the better choice for a majority of people. I think the nothing phone is a good phone for sure, I'm just not 100% too sure of the company, we don't really have that much of a reputation with nothing yet. And I do think it's going to take a couple years for them to build out, out exactly what's going to happen in terms of not only support but also in terms of like software updates and everything like that too. Now starting off with the outside of both of these devices, the Nothing phone which came out and a little bit earlier this year has a 6.7 inch LTPO OLED display on the front of this thing. Now it's a 1080p panel. So fairly good resolution 120 hertz 1600 to 600 nits of brightness and it's a pretty good looking panel. There's a couple advantages with this panel over the iPhone 15's one. It's a hole punch display so it doesn't actually have you know like a notch or the dynamic island. It is a genuine hole punch display which looks very good. You're getting a 120 hertz panel on this thing too which is substantially better in my opinion than the 60 hertz panel. And it's a bigger display some people may prefer that might be an advantage or disadvantage but there is some advantage with the nothing bone too even though too even though it's a little bit cheaper than something like the 15 on the other hand has a 6.1 inch super retina xdr oled display and with this particular device i definitely do think for my opinion that this is a very good panel it's a 6.1 inch panel so it's definitely smaller than the nothing phone you are getting a dynamic island on this particular device. They both have flat side to it which looks great on the bottom. They both have USB-C which is very cool. I love USB-C. I am glad these two phones have it. The Nothing Phone 2 have a dual camera setup a full on glass back. It is a clear glass back which allows you to see the background and you actually have LED light structure on the back of the Nothing Phone. I think it looks great, I think it's a really nice touch, I don't know if this would be a reason to buy this phone. This is like what makes this phone unique. The iPhone 15 on the other hand has a dual camera setup as well diagonal setup, this time it does have a frosted glass bag though. So this is something that's cool, I love having frosted glass bags and frosted bags are much better than standard glass bags. In my opinion from a looks perspective but I would say from the outside potentially the iPhone 15 I would say is the more premium one but the nothing phone you're getting a couple cool features. I think the 120Hz display is really nice and I definitely do think things like reverse wireless charging and those types of features are really nice. The other standpoint with the cameras this is also a very interesting setup that we have on both of these. So with the Nothing Phone you are getting a 50 megapixel wide angle camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide camera and on the iPhone 15 you are getting a 48 megapixel wide angle lens and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. So from that standpoint alone you might think automatically that the Nothing Phone's camera is better. In terms of the speed side there is also a little bit of a difference here as well the nothing phone had that snapdragon 8 gen 1 chipset inside with 8 gigs of ram on the base model but it does go up to 212 with the iphone 15 you are getting that apple e6 bionic chipset with 6 ESB of ram. Now the nothing phone too I will say is a very good performing phone from everything. How both these phones somewhat compare from that perspective so covers it up on my side. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, know me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else. I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.